Right? Let, let's begin. For as long as people have been exercising, they have been looking for the latest fitness trends. Today, people are still finding ways to add a new twist to their workout routines. Here we go. You're almost there, Sally. Power up. Sure Power Boot Camp is an indoor obstacle confidence course. We train civilians military style, but we do it in a positive setting. Awesome job, man. An athlete her whole life, Lauren Brenner, developed this idea while testing for the FBI. Four, I went to Fort Knox military base. I had a thing with going through boot camp. Taking authentic elements of what she had seen, Lauren opened Pure Power Boot Camp in 2004. Monotony is what makes people drop out of anything they do. This is something that's different every day. Each tour of duty is three to four days a week for six to eight weeks and is led by Lauren or a former member of the military. New recruits join a 16-person platoon. Research has shown that people stay to a program if they're working out in a group. You don't want to let other people down. Everybody has to encourage each other. Hey, girlfriend! The greatest thing about Pure Power Boot Camp is that it is for all shapes, sizes, levels, and ages. We have people come in, they get an evaluation. So Smith may need to do five push-ups in 60 seconds. And Jones may need to do 15. We have 12 obstacles in this location. Everything in here is really a whole body workout. People have lost three to four clothing sizes, and we do it in a healthy way. Burning calories is child's play at Punk Rope, another emerging fitness trend, which is a gym class for adults. I started Punk Rope in uh, 2004. I had knee surgery, and the doc said you can't keep playing sports. Bored with the standard classes offered at his gym, Tim Haft, a personal trainer, created his own class. Anybody can do Punk Rope. It's very much a self-paced class. Punk Rope is now offered at community centers and health clubs in 15 states. So tonight we're at the Greenpoint YMCA in Brooklyn, and tonight's punk rope class is going to focus on the 1950s. To keep things fresh, the theme changes every week, but each one-hour class always consists of 15 intervals. There's some creative calisthenics. We have a game called Circle Ball. There are a couple of relay races. There's a core training, and then there's obviously some rope jumping. If you're rope jumping at an average pace, you burn the same number of calories as if you were running an eight minute mile. The drills really drive your heart rate up and the strengthening exercises improve muscle tone in your legs and upper body. While punk rope brings out your inner child, S-Factor offers a more adult experience. S-Factor is the workout designed exclusively for the feminine body. It's incredibly empowering and confidence building. Actress Sheila Kelly first discovered the fitness benefits of pole dancing while researching her role in dancing at the Blue Iguana. In the film, I had to play a stripper, and then I got to learn this movement, and my entire body changed. Sheila wanted to share this movement with all women, so in 2001, she created S-Factor. I pulled things from different dance modes, from yoga, from Pilates, but mostly watching how the feminine body wants to move. It's called S-Factor because the letter S mimics the way a woman's body moves when she is relaxed. There are now seven S-Factor studios offering classes in a women-only environment. There are no mirrors, and there's no bright lights, and you can really just see the teacher in the center. Each class lasts two hours. The first 45 minutes is the S-factor movement. You're working the muscles all through your hips, your legs, your arms. Next is the pole work. You've got your hands and your knee, and come down and just... S-factor can be done by any age, any shape, any size. It's incredibly strengthening for your arms, your upper body, your core. I have seen dramatic changes in women's bodies after they take class. Because once you fall in love with your body and you start to not see her in a negative light, you know, the sky is the limit. The sky is also the limit at the New York Circus Arts Academy. The New York Circus Arts Academy trains the highest level professionals as well as offering recreational and fitness classes accessible to everybody. Cypher Zero, a lifelong athlete, first discovered the contemporary circus in 1997. And I said, I want to do that. And there was nowhere in the U.S. to really get trained. Cypher found the training he needed in Europe. In 2004, after five years of performing, he opened his academy to give aspiring artists a place to train in the United States. While classes were originally just for professionals, Cypher now trains 2,500 recreational students of all ages and abilities at his new facility in Queens. 
it's not so much as of a workout regimen, is it's an art form that has fantastic fitness benefits. And it builds bodies that are lean, strong, and attractive. There we go. In dynamic acrobatics, we teach tumbling and trampoline. In acro balance, we teach handstanding, partner balancing. In aerial acrobatics, they learn to work on the trapeze, the aerial silks, the hooks. Get it underneath here and pinch in with the elbow. Beginners start learning how to climb and invert their bodies. Once they become more confident, they, they start learning about wrapping the apparatus, moving their body around the apparatus. And once they start getting up to the advanced level, we're learning more about making longer drops. Very nice. The progressions are based on strength development, flexibility development, and some of its coordination. The progressions lead up to the student shows that we do, so they can perform for their friends and family. Whether you're ready to run off and join the circus, go back to gym class, train like the military, or explore your feminine side, today's fitness trends have something that's right for you.